Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to Joyful Living. Tonight, I am bringing you guys an update on our master bath remodel. Well, it may not be night where you are. It's night here. And I'm really excited to share some exciting updates and what the next steps are. So let's get started. All right, so if you didn't already watch the first video in this series, make sure you go and watch it. Uh, my hope is to document kind of this whole journey, and I thought, you know what, if I don't get this video filmed, then it's not gonna be cohesive as we move along the process. Um, things are going slightly slower than I had hoped, um, but that is due to the fact that the contractor that is gonna do the actual work is somebody we really want to work with. So we are waiting for him to have room for us in his schedule, totally okay with me. Um, I told our interior designer that I was not in a rush and that uh, we could you know, wait until he was ready, until she was ready. So it's, it's kind of our um, choice that it's taking this long. However, there have been a lot of exciting updates. So the first thing that happened is Erica, my amazing designer, uh, came over and we had our initial consultation. Now, I have never worked with an interior designer at this level. I have, throughout the years, have many friends who are wonderful interior designers who have either given me their services for very cheap or free, as I have tried to, you know, just pick out fixtures or asked opinions and things like that but I've never done a start to finish project with a designer. And of course, like everybody, I see it on HGTV and I think, oh my goodness, how amazing would it be to actually work with somebody from start to finish and, and I just don't wanna screw this up, okay? We're spending a lot of money. This house is worth more than any house we've ever owned. And you know, when we lived in our tiny starter house, it was no big deal for us to do all the work ourselves. But now in this house, buyers in particular are looking for a certain level. And, and by the way, that's one thing to consider. Um, when you are looking at what level of house to buy, if you don't wanna overextend yourself, remember that it's not just the cost of the house, but the cost of everything that has to go into the house, okay? So you have to do, you know, higher end finishes and higher end this and higher end that. And I am the first to admit, I'm a very much a higher end girl when I'm on vacation, but we are very simple. I really don't need all that. So in three years or so, when we sell this house, I'm kind of looking for a lower maintenance situation, a smaller, more simple house. But the reality of the home we're in now, and, and I do love the home we're in now. It's, it's, too large for us, but I do love it, is that it requires a certain level of remodeling. So we knew our master bathroom would have to be done, and I knew I wanted to work with a designer. Meeting with a designer, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was very intimidated. I was worried she was gonna walk into my house, my very normal, lived-in house, and be like, okay, whatever. She was not that way at all. Erica and her assistant, Brooke, uh, came over. I had done a little bit of homework ahead of time when I called to make the appointment. They had asked me to uh, you know, kind of work on a Pinterest board and a house board and kind of just to get a general idea of what it was I was looking for. Now, in my case, I was also able to forward Erica the video I had done so she could see in advance you know, the space that I was asking her to work with. So as soon as she got here, she just kind of wanted to get a feel for who we were as a family, for what we were looking for. We talked about a lot of practical considerations, like the fact that light is a big deal for us in the bathroom because oftentimes Scott will get up at three or four in the morning to go to work, or sometimes he gets home very late at night. So it's really important that there not be um, light coming in from the bathroom when another person is sleeping in here. Or, you know, sometimes if he gets in at two in the morning, he's sleeping until noon and I need to get in there and get ready for the day. So that was a consideration. Obviously, we told her we wanted to get rid of the carpet, uh, but basically I said that the layout was okay for me, uh, but she needed to, to kind of get to the heart of what style was was I interested in. What's my vibe? So I showed her my house board and my Pinterest board, and the advice I had gotten is kind of just pick what you like. Like, don't give it too much thought. Don't try to pigeonhole yourself. Like, I am this style. I'm, tra I'm traditional. I'm transitional. I'm cottage or whatever it is. Just go with what you like. And when we looked at almost everything I pinned was the same style. Kind of this high-end coastal Nantucket, if you will. Um, I'm really drawn to ocean colors and textures, as, um, but yet organic and yet a little bit of a spa vibe and not too casual. And somehow, through just having a conversation, uh, she really nailed my style and what it was I was looking for. While she was here, we were able to pick out, believe it or not, a countertop that I loved, uh, a paint color that I am so in love with, I cannot even tell you, and uh, just kind of to set an overall tone. 
When they left, um, she promised me that in a few days she would have an initial proposal as well as some computer drawings of what her ideas were. She also reassured me that if I chose not to move forward with her, that those were mine to keep uh, and that I could go ahead and use those however I wanted. I loved that because she already set me in the right direction. So even if I didn't move forward with her, I felt like I was already on the right path towards making sure we were picking appropriate finishes for this house and for this bathroom. A lot of the things that she thought about that I never would have that I really appreciated were, you know, what kind of metals was I looking for? Uh, we talked a lot about things like tile and things to warm up the space, uh, you know, how much, uh, how many bells and whistles did we really want? I shared with her that I do take a lot of baths, but that we also like showers. So I kind of want something a little bit higher end in the shower area, definitely wanted a freestanding tub. The countertop we picked out and she had brought samples with her. I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm really hoping when we get the final numbers that it's still within my budget because that hasn't really been finalized yet, but it almost looks like it has seashells in it. It's, it's just the, the texture, the color, it's just, gorgeous. I think she said it's quartz. So after I got that, I was super excited. Um, I did, however, say I'm not really ready to commit until we hear from Jim, who's doing the work about what the actual number is going to look like. I already know, and we'll see how this evolves, that the number that I had hoped to spend, which was $20,000, is not going to probably be the number. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We have some wiggle room. Um, but I, part of it is her services, obviously, and I just have to be realistic about the finish options I want. So I may need to back off on some of the choices that I would like to make. So we will see how all that works out. One of the things Erica said that I loved was that because she uh, passes her wholesale savings on to me, that she usually almost pays for herself in the savings that she's able to get us. And I can tell you right now, having not worked with, um, well, having worked with uh, workers in my home that were not maybe who I would have chosen, um, just the confidence that she has in the contractor that we're using, that in and of itself, I'm feeling like right now is worth its weight in gold. I have met Jim, he came over, absolutely love him. We had a lot in common. Um, he was very straightforward, which is just what I love and appreciate. He is very knowledgeable. In fact, I think he only works now basically when Erica asks him to do projects. And Erica assured me that the workers that Jim works with are the same people that he's been working with for years and years. And that I loved. I like knowing who's in my house. Okay. And, uh, it just, I could just tell that Jim really put a lot of investment into the people um, that he worked with. So, and that he works with. So where we are now is I'm waiting for the final estimate. Um, Brooke told me that that should probably come in next week. So now we're, we're, you know, a month into this project. Um, once I get that final estimate, um, feeling really confident we're going to move forward with Erica, but I'm just being really honest. I do have to see that final number. Numbers wise, there is a, a down payment, obviously, that I will give to her that will secure her services for the project. And then I think the next step is we start picking out finish options. She did say, and I really appreciated this, that the most important thing was that we have everything purchased before we ever start. And Jim was asking me things like, you know, can they use half the garage for the trash or do we want to do a dumpster? We have a lot of cars coming in and out here with the college students. So I'm leaning towards not a dumpster just because that would take up our driveway space. So there are decisions like that that have yet to be made. And I think, as I said in the first video, the thing that I'm the most kind of stressed out about is once the demo starts and I, I don't know what we're going to do yet. I think we're probably just going to move into our guest bedroom, which has an attached bath. And especially with Scott's weird schedule, I think that's the easiest because even if I have workmen coming in, I don't know. I don't know how all that's going to work out. It's just going to magically work out. Anyway, so far I can highly recommend the experience of working with an interior designer. She's going to be far more hands-on than I had realized. In fact, one of the things she said before she left that I loved, she said, Jen, I will be mopping my way out of your master bathroom, locking, you can lock your front door and you can get in your bathtub. That's how finished the project will be 
once I hand it back to you. And, and that is what I am really hoping is the case. You guys will be along for every step of the process. I realized this update was super boring. Like it, it's not like it is on TV, y'all. And I know that everybody wants to see demo day and all that. I promise that is coming. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit your bell notification so that you know when I bring you an update. I'm hoping that all of that is starting within, you know, by, by the time I give you next month's update, that we will be well underway in that process. And I promise I will give great documentation of every step along the way. Thank you so much for being here. Whatever you're doing today, I hope you're finding joy and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.